to alternative housing options to keep a roof over their head. From co-living spaces and even hotels, Fox News Duarte Geraldino takes a closer look at this growing trend. In Harlem, Chris Gidron's home with its fabulous kitchen, rooftop deck, and sweeping city views is a dream come true for a young person with so many options. So I'm a pilot for a private charter service, and we can live anywhere. It's really convenient to be on the East Coast. But this is a co-living space called Cohabs. She shares it with more than 20 people. Her only completely private space is a small bedroom on the third floor for which she pays around $1,900 a month in a neighborhood where the average studio apartment costs more than $2,700. Was it a question of money? Because money was so expensive. For me, it was more about the community aspect. That was super important, and the lease flexibility here is incredible, so. So what does that mean? How flexible is it for you? Um, I can opt out at any point with just a two-month notice. I can leave. Chris is part of a growing number of people who are choosing or being forced to walk away from traditional housing. This is one West Coast company offering people rentals that are so small, you can't stand inside, and it only fits a bed. These are called pods. Of course, you can show up money to live in a tiny home or a shipping container. Some people are even choosing to call converted vans and buses home these days. What all these types of alternative housing illustrate is a growing mass desire for homes that are not only more affordable, but also that come with more flexible contracts and community. Daniel Clark is the managing director of U.S. Cohabs. His company is investing tens of millions of dollars in the U.S. housing market, betting people will embrace alternative housing in general and co-living in particular. There's opportunities uh, with seniors to do this. I think there's like more unique um, components of student housing that we can crack into. So I really, I think this guy's limit. For Susan Hayes, alternative... Predicts are such love me or hate me, there's no in between. So they got it, bro. They got us right where they want us. The elites, the globalists, the fucking DNC, the Bilderbergs, BlackRock, everybody. They got us right where they want us. They want us to continue to rent forever. They want to throw this faggot shit in our face talking about cohabitation and building a community. You can build a community with somebody across the street from you. That's your neighbor. And you own your own home. Like, that's a real community <clears throat> space, not living on top of each other, not being in everyone's fucking business, not being corroded by just being in a fucking pods on top of each other, bro. Because they do that in China and it causes um, this distinct um, morale disintegration. No goals of really being met because you're cohabitating, you're leaning on everybody instead of standing on your own two feet. When you have leaders and people that stand on their own two feet, they tend to actually have better morale, um, better character, build themselves up, and they're able to put a community together or a family together and be strong in that family unit. You can't have all sheep following each other because too many people crowded on top of each other. You're, de you're dependent on each other's thoughts and opinions. They make it through the day when you just need the, the, the opinion of your wife, your husband, your intermediate, your, your immediate children, and your immediate family members, which is maybe your, your grandparents or your mother and father that lives there, or aunts, uncles, and cousins and stuff like that, then you might get some outside help from other people. But when you have to rent and continue to be up under people that you really don't know, you have to adapt real fast. And certain people can't adapt. That's why it will always breed jealousy and envy and stuff like that, or people asking questions on how much you're paying or where you're going, what you're doing this, how you're doing that. It, you, you'll never be able to function and stuff like that because it's always what people think, especially if you're trying to create a family and stuff like that. You can't create a family there because a family needs to be privatized, private in your own setting so you can thrive together. You just can't have everyone reaping and, and, and I mean, um, bombarding you with their own opinions and thoughts and political views and all that shit and you have to raise your child to be that village raising a child shit is dumb because everybody's being indoctrinated on these fucking social justice warriors gays but like woke shit is it, dumb you want to raise your family to be christians or catholics or, or express judaism um, Muslims, Islam, whatever, and you want to have that indoctrinated to your children because you want to raise your children to be a reflection of you. You don't want everybody in your personal business or personal space. You get a personal room, 
for nineteen hundred a month. The rooms are nineteen hundred a month. That's ridiculous in a city, man. It's it's going to shit. You can't live like this, cause they want everybody close knit together. So when shit hits the fan, they could corral us all in one place and put us all in one cage, man. Best believe it. When shit hits the fan, there's certain people you don't want to be around because they're gonna fucking panic. They're gonna bring shit down and they're not going to help you try to survive. They're just going to tell you to conform because they don't feel like dealing with issues or they don't want to fight back. I'm just stating it, the facts, man. They got us right where they want us. You'll be renting forever. You won't own nothing and you will love it. Like Claude Schwab said from the World Economic Forum, this is what he said. This is exactly what they said. The New World Order. You'll be in these 15 minute cities. This is what we're going to be looking forward to in the future, man. Prediction since you love me and hate me is no in between. Like, comment, share. Help me about the algorithm, man. Do me the favor. Love me and hate me, man. It's no in between.